Hi boys and girls, it's great to see you all. We have an amazing show for you. Today, we will be saying hello to our favorite librarian, and she will be reading us some poems. We will be taking a tour of Glue Factory, and later, we will be talking about what happens when your parents get divorced. And of course, we will be watching a new cartoon! Fuck! I am bored! How bored are you, Blood X? Jimmy, I'm bored enough to have sex with a dead dingo's asshole. Wow, that's pretty bored. Yeah, you know, because they're dead. And they don't move around much. Well, what do you want me to do about it? Well, do you have a dead dingo lying around? Welcome to the Blood X Show! Everyone's gonna die in the end, you know! We're gonna go crazy, a little bit nuts! We're gonna follow some dogs that sniff their butts! I came all the way over from the street! You threw a portal with a stranger! We are here to have some fun! Sit down, children, the show's begun! Welcome to the Blood X Show! Welcome to the Blood X Show! Welcome to the Animated Show! Boys and girls, is why you should never spit on a police officer. Okay, kids, it's time for a word from our sponsors. Don't you dare move a muscle. We'll be right back. Hi, my name is Sahara, and I'm a complete slut with no limit. If you call my number, I will set your mind and body in flames. And by that, I mean your dick. Only $9.99 a minute. All callers must be over the age of 18. Ever credit cards ready, you big studs. And a box of tissues. Hee <laughs> Pass me the phone, Jimmy. I have an itch that needs scratching. I can't, Blood X. You better pass me the phone, you little bitch. I'll cut your fucking balls off and eat them for dinner. But, Blood X. Don't you remember you had a disagreement with the phone company? And they cut us off! I don't remember that at all! We said they overcharged you by five dollars and you yelled at them! I still don't remember that! Was I drunk or something? Of course! Oh! They're about to raise the charges and then you called them all a bunch of cunts! And the next day, the phone stopped working. From the director of I Boffed Your Mama on a Train 3 comes an erotic masterpiece that you don't want to miss. Banned in 37 countries, available for the first time ever in Canada. Uncut, uncensored, and uncircumcised. This has been hailed by critics as the dirtiest adult film ever made. Lesbians, midgets, amputees, water sports, bestiality, anal fisting, and so much more. The Erotic Adventures of Squirty McFistalot 3, The Fistening. Available now where good adult entertainment is sold. Oh my god! I just discovered my purpose in life! Is it to end world hunger? Or bring world peace, Blood X? Fuck no! And what, Blood? No matter how far I have to travel, or how long it takes, nothing will stop me from my mission. Not rain, or snow, or plagues of fucking locusts will stop me. I must have that porno! Wow. And jerk off to it, of course. You can watch too if you want. Cool. Go far up the bloodmobile, Jimmy. We have a mission. I'm on it. Jimmy, what the hell? I'm gonna bust a nut if we don't get that porno right away. Gosh, Blood X, I guess their parking authority wanted money instead of dick pics like you said to pay for those tickets. Those slimy motherfuckers. I tell you there are markets in the world where a picture of my dick is worth a fistful of fucking twenties. I guess we can call a cab or something. Fuck that, Jimmy. Stand back, don't get any on you. Holy shit, Blood X! And all I've had to drink for a week is some Mountain Dew and battery acid. That only raises more questions. Start the fucking car, Jimmy! Or I'll put my boot up your ass!
some orange juice, didn't notice it was green. It tastes kind of funky when it went and drunk. And I did a lock this monster of kind of shit. So every time I draw with my left hand, it would come to life and rape a random man. It would give him such a huge paper cut from his mouth down to the end of his How mouth. How soon until we get there? Get where? The porno store. I've got to get my hands on that porno right away or my nuts will explode. Jeez, Bladex, I don't know where the store is. I thought you knew. Jimmy, you're a bigger faggot than Kanye West. Pull over so we can ask for some directions. Excuse me, madam, but we were wondering where the porno store is. What? Porno, you old bat. We want the place with the fucking porn. I'm afraid you'll have to speak up, young man. I'm deaf as a pawn. Quit holding out on this old lady. Where the shit is the porno store? Oh, the porno store. Why didn't you say so? It's just a couple miles up the road there on the main street. Man, that sure brings me back to when I was a young woman and my husband Frank. Frank sure liked his porno. He just watched and watched and his big old balls would get so sweaty. That big old horse stick of his. Well, let me tell you, that thing hurts so much. No matter how much cooking oil we poured up in there. Go, go, go! How bad? I can't wait to see this porno. I'm gonna stroke it until it falls off, and I'll grow a new one, then I'll stroke it some more. Hell, I might even stroke yours. That's mighty generous, but my teacher told me never to let anyone touch my no-no places. You are a weird turd, Jimmy, and that's why I fucking love you. Out of business because of the internet. Blimey! What the fuck is the goddamn internet? Oh, oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, baby, uh, that's right. They crawl uh, and squirt, eh? Yeah, put it in there. Oh, you like that? Hey, Blood X, uh, isn't that your mother? Uh, yeah, yeah, I want it so bad. Holy fucking shit, yeah. Jimmy. It's me, Mum! Uh, well, that's awkward. Should we stop? Uh, nope! So I've already big. came, and I'm going for round two. Watching your mum pee on a TV for some reason. She is almost as weird as me, I swear. And who else is here but that slimy genital herpes ridden little Taiwanese boy, Jimmy? Say hi, you cunt. Hey, everybody! Jimmy, the only reason that you're alive is that I left you and your mum for a little bit longer than nine months. If I waited seven, Oh, mm, mm, Wagyu beef. Mmm, fresh from a baby. I love it so much. Man, you must have had a weird dream last night because I 
farted all over your face while you were sleeping. And I just thought you should know that. Now tell the audience what's next before I kick you in the nuts. Gosh, Blood X, just leave me alone. It's just another letter from one of the fans. Holy cow, Jimmy. Why didn't you say so sooner? You know I'll do anything for our fans. You sick fucks are why I don't stick a fork in the toaster. Well, actually, I do, because it makes me tingle downstairs. And then it makes me think of you guys. Jimmy, read the letter before I come in my pants with excitement. Dear Blood X, where did babies come from? My mama says she found me and my brother in a cabbage patch, but I think she's fibbing. If that's not true, why would she lie? Sincerely, Tina, Maryland, USA. Oh, isn't that sweet? Well, Tina, your mum is absolutely lying to you, and I'm sorry that I have to be the one to explain this to you. But that is not where babies come from. Santa isn't real. I'm sorry. Jesus doesn't love everyone. He did get nailed to a cross, though, but by four blokes up the arse. True story. I was one of them. Not Jesus. I wish. And you probably don't even know who your real daddy is. Could be me. Could be even Jimmy. But I feel sorry for you if it's Jimmy. She's lying to you because she doesn't love you. And more importantly, she doesn't respect you. You should definitely be mad at her. Maybe even hate her. Lord knows I do. But Blood X, I think little Tina just wants to know where babies come from. Jimmy, what would I do without you nipping at me like that little Taco Bell dog? Annoying me to do whatever the hell you want me to do. I'm sick of it. Blah, 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 blah. Your head's going back in my butt when we get home, Jimmy. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm digressing again. Listen up, Tina, because this is what happens when a man and a lady make a baby. Okay, you little shit? Uh-oh. I think we're going to get banned again for sure, Blood X. For sure. When a man loves a woman, he puts his arseless chaps on one leg at a time. Then he covers himself in extra virgin oil, and then his lady unsheaths his mighty pork sword and... And then he has done a good job, and she will butt a cigarette out on his back. And that little Tina is exactly how babies are made. Well... Around here anyway, because it's a, it's a good neighborhood, they tell me. A good neighborhood. I don't know, Blood X. That doesn't sound like the safest way to make a baby. Shut up, Jimmy. No one cares what you think. Even my cat makes turds that are smarter than you on your best day. Speaking of turds, I've got a pinch of loaf. Say goodbye to our guest, Jimmy. It's going to be a photo finish. <gasps> well, that's all the time we have today, kids. Let's take a peek at some fan art while we watch the credits. See you next time, everyone. Hopefully, Plat X doesn't kill me in the meantime. Help. memory capacity of a goldfish so listen up okay any fans out there that would like their little pictures and dick pics and whatever the hell they also want to send me email me at sidstar99 at hotmail.com and jimmy the squirrels squirrels oh my god blood it's squirrels squirrels yay Oh my fucking god, you need to leave. You need to leave right now. Security has been given your photo and permission to tase you if you ever set foot on this property again. And we aren't going to validate your fucking parking. 
If you retards ever try to come back here, I'll use my goddamn pepper spray. Well, that was rude. They could have just said no. It wasn't the kick to the crutch or the spill in my eye that bothered me. In fact, that was kind of a bonus. No, Jimmy, it's the respect. I wonder why they won't buy any of your seed blood decks. I know, right? 20,000 army customers can't be wrong. My jizz is as good as any bloke's fucking jizz. No one ever said they complained before. Now how are we going to pay for the phone bill? Don't worry, Jimmy. I have a plan. It involves a homeless guy, a rusty hacksaw, and a tub of ice. Uh-oh. I think I see where this is going. Don't be a little bitch, Jimmy. Welcome to the Blood Exchange! Everyone's gonna die in the end, you know! We're gonna go crazy, a little bit nuts! We're gonna follow some dogs that sniff their butts! I came all the way over from the street! Yeah. through a portal with a stranger! Yeah. We are here to have some fun! Yeah. Sit down, children, the show's begun! Welcome to the Blood Show! Welcome to the Blood Show! Welcome to the Animated Show! Jimmy, why the hell is this taking so long? Why is what taking so long, Blood X? The elevator, Jimmy. It's been so long I can feel the hair on my ass growing. Gosh, Blood X, it's only been a couple of seconds. Been as long as I say it's been, Jimmy, and not one second longer. I'm confused. God damn it! I'm having a bad shit moment. The walls are closing in on me. Everyone's out to get me. There's a little man in my head playing an accordion. Vertigo, psychosis, stockbone syndrome, and chicken pox. <laughs> oh, thank God, Jimmy. I think I was just having an allergic reaction to the music. I'm scared of the dark. Emergency power activated. Please have a nice day. Holy 10 week old kangaroo carcasses, Jimmy. What the fuck did you eat to make your fart smell so fucking awful? It wasn't me, Blood Dex. You know I can't fart in front of people. I hold them all up inside me until I'm alone in bed. My mum told me that's how good little boys do it. Well, it wasn't me. Maybe it was her. My god, Jimmy, you know I love the smell of a good fart, but damn, that's gonna kill us. We gotta get out of here, Blood X. Have you tried the emergency phone? Jimmy, you turd, you've been standing next to me the whole time. Did you see me fucking try the emergency phone? Huh? Did you? Well, do you wanna try? There might be someone on the other end that can send help. Jimmy, you're a genius. Well, not really, but smarter than an owl's pellet. Oh, oh yeah, baby, that's um, right. They call um, me Squirtate. Hello, this is Robert from Acme Customer Service and Consumer Affairs. To ensure call quality, this session is being recorded. How can we help you today? Blimey! Where the fuck have we been connected to? I am an outsourced customer service representative and your emergency call has been transferred to me to help extradite. How may I help you, sir? We're stuck in the fucking elevator, you cunt! Sir, please be advised that we have a zero tolerance policy to all forms of abuse as well as a not limited to verbal abuse, threats and foul language. Do you have a policy regarding getting people out of elevators? Point in fact, we do, sir. Now that you have reported an issue, said issue, that you are stuck in an elevator, I will contact the local maintenance authorities in your neighborhood. This satisfactorily concludes our business for today. Hey, Pocahontas! I'm not satisfied till I say I'm satisfied! I will now let you go so that I can contact the proper authorities and let them know where to find you. Have a good day to you, sir. Yeah, yeah. Live long and prosper and whatever the fuck you heathens do with your penises. So big. Uh, 
I don't think I'm gonna make it, Jimmy. I'm going crazy. And also, I'm really fucking hungry. And also, I didn't get to squeeze one out like I was expecting to. My knob needs a gob if you know what I'm saying. Gosh, Bloodex, what do you want me to do about it? Well, do you happen to have a dead dingo lying around? No. We'll do something, Jimmy. I'm bouncing off the walls with boredom. I saw this episode on The Simpsons once where they were stuck in an elevator and they killed time by having flashbacks. That's great, Jimmy, but I didn't bring any LSD with me. How the fuck are we going to have flashbacks and stuff? Well, ideally flashbacks are stories from our past and sometimes relevant to our current situation. That sounds as stupid as a Taylor Swift song, but what the fuck? How do we get the ball rolling on that, Jimmy? Well, flashbacks start when the character in question says something like, Hey, remember that time we... Remember that time you fucked a bear? Secret ingredient was roofies. See, Blood X, we killed 22 seconds singing about that time you fucked a bear. Cool, Jimmy. Let me try one. Remember that time we had an abortion, Jimmy? Not really. Well, it happened, and you still owe me 10 bucks for that, by the way. I don't think that's how flashbacks are supposed to work, Bloodex. How about the time I got probed by aliens? I'm pretty sure that didn't happen. That's crazy, Jimmy. You got probed too, you know. Oh shit, Bloodex. Remember that time we went apple picking? Oh yeah, what a lovely day that was. Yeah. Jimmy, do you remember that time we went over Niagara Falls in a fucking barrel? I sure do, Bloodex. Those police officers were really mad about that one. Remember that time we got stuck in that elevator? Ah, oh, we are still stuck in the elevator, Bloodex. I knew I should have made a left turn at Albuquerque. Hello, baby. I'm coming over after I'm done work. Yes, and I will sex you up so good. I will treat you like a cow. You know, because cows are sacred here and stuff. I'm sorry, baby. I got to get back to the clock. Gotta raise some more rupees before I raise your roof. Hello, this is Robert from Acme Customer Service and Consumer Affairs. To ensure call quality, this session is being recorded. How can we help you today? Bob, you gotta get us out of here, man. I'm gonna fucking lose it. I'm hungry. I'm horny. I'm getting claustrophobic as fuck. I've got space madness. You guys again. I have sent a maintenance request. Has this situation not worked itself out yet? I'm fucking hungry, Bob. I'm gonna start eating my own tongue here. I will contact the building management immediately, sir. Thank you for your call today. Hey there, little hot doggy. You smell so delicious. <laughs> you are a naughty little hot dog. You know you want it. Bloodex, we only ate a couple of hours ago. But Jimmy, I'm so hungry. I just want to take a little nibble on my hot dog lady. Uh-oh, I think I see where this is going. Thank God. That was one of the most horrifying experiences in my life. I'm glad that's over. That hot dog was just awful, Jimmy. It tastes like urinary tract infections in old pennies. Yuck. Let's go home, Jimmy. I need to masturbate. Ladies and germs, I 
am your master of ceremonies, Bloodix! And this is my motherfucking podcast, aptly named The Bloodix Show Podcast. And this sack of crap next to me, Jimmy, he's got a tiny weenie. And Mr. Nobody always thinks that no one likes him. So, Jim the Dim Jimmy himself, say hi to everyone, you son of a bitch. Hi, everyone. It's Jimmy. It's nice to meet you. Jimmy, quit hogging the spotlight. I have something on my mind that I want to talk about. Gosh, Blood X, it sounds like you have something really important on your mind. What is bothering you? Is it climate change? Is it global economics? You can tell me. Is it racism? Of course not, Jimmy. What do I look like, CNN? I'm thinking about the Smurfs, Jimmy. How the heck did those little guys get any roots? There's only one Smurfette, and there's 99 of them. What if she's married to Papa Smurf? Then she's only giving him Smurf jobs every night. What about the rest of them? Do they have to dress up like little Smurfettes? I need to know this information, Jimmy. This is more important than anything that you have ever thought about in your life, Jimmy. I need to know. Are they gay? Who cares if they're gay? I just need to know if 99 of them them are fucking each other. Shit! Gosh, Blood X, Smurfs don't have sex. It's a children's cartoon after all. Everything has sex, Jimmy. Cartoons, aliens, ghosts, even Catholic priests. Ha! We all know that one. So what do you think? Do you think she has, like, these big Smurf gangbangs? Takes them all at once? Or, do you know, do they line up one by one till they come to 99? All over her face like a glazed donut. Huh. Really makes you think. Ew, that's disrespectful. What about love, Blood X? Baby Smurfette is a good girl. What's love got to do with it, Jimmy? I've done the math and it doesn't look good. There's too many males to females ratio. I'm pretty sure that it is going to get a little rapey unless we have some gays and some others. If you know what I mean. like. What about a pumpkin with a hole in it? They feel great this time of year. My mum used to say people are good inside. She also said you should never have sex except to have a baby. Jimmy, you ignorant slut. Just like your mother. Evil is real, Jimmy. And the Smurfs are definitely fucked if we don't bring a new gene into their gene pool. They're going to be so inbred. They're going to be worse than Texas and Tasmania mixed together. And we don't want that, do we? Uh Uh-oh. Here come the complaint letters. Good thing that YouTube took the dislike button away. I don't think Smurfs are gay, Blood X. Jimmy, you homophobe. Of course Smurfs are gay. You've got beefcakes like hefty Smurf. Vanity like flowers. Jokey gave presents to men. That's pretty cool. I mean, gay. And don't even get me started on Handy Smurf. I bet he was handy in the way that you know what I mean. It all makes perfect sense now. Well, except for the inbreeding, but I can help. It was a cartoon, Blood X. You can't take anything seriously from a cartoon ever. Jimmy, you have a good point there. Look, if I was to say you should stab your mum with a pencil and then put your cat in the microwave, you should not do that. Yes, you should. And if you do get caught, just point your poo-poo fingers at us. You know, and then we'll send you some Smurf porn featuring Smurfette and... Blood eggs. I've got to go to the toilet really quickly. I'm thinking of Smurfette. Oh my god. I've got to go. I've got to go, Jimmy. Say goodbye to our guest for us. Goodbye. Well, that's all the time we got for 
today. While we roll the credit, let's look at some more fan art. Yeah. Oh. everyone make sure you hit the like and subscribe button or i'll come to your house and take a big stinky shit on your lawn while i'm looking you straight in the eyes smiling waving like i'm the queen okay and also if you'd like to send us some letters artwork hate mail dick pics or any smurf related porno that you have saved on your hard drive feel free to Hey, Jimmy, look, those humping squirrels are back. Make sure you send us your fan art and we'll most definitely include it in our next video. Tune in next week where we'll be talking about taxation codes. Not really. We'll be talking about buttholes. Are they hairy or unhairy? Which one is necessary? <laughs>